Hello and welcome to Home Assistant Tips by Larry. Before we get started, we are going to assume you already have a working instance of Home Assistant and you already have ESP Home installed and working and you know how to flash a microcontroller with ESP Home. To start off this video, I just want to say if you haven't already seen the original Glade Air Freshener video, I would stop now and go to that video and watch it. I'll leave a link in the upper right hand corner of your screen. The reason I'm making this video is that I had a lot of requests for changes to the Glade Air Freshener, and I've added the three main uh, changes that people wanted. Those changes are a millimeter wave motion sensor, a TTP223 capacitive touch sensor to manually trigger the air freshener, and finally a read switch to allow you to be able to automatically reset the spray counter when you change out the can. Let's go ahead and start off by removing the front of the air freshener by opening up the Glade air freshener as you see here in the video. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver like we did in the previous video and remove the uh, hinge so that we can take it apart, as you see here. Then we're going to set the main body aside and we're going to work on the Glade air freshener cover itself. Here we're going to use a large pair of diagonal cutters and cut away the material that we don't need for the millimeter wave sensor to be able to be mounted in the front of the air freshener so it can detect motion. So you can use it to trigger the air freshener if you wish and lights or anything else that you might want. And here we're going to run the wires that we soldered to the millimeter wave sensor through the hole that is left when we took out the printed circuit board of the original air freshener. So you just run those wires through the hole as you see here to the back side of the uh, unit. And then you're going to use a hot glue gun to mount it to the front of the body of the sensor, as you see in the video. Now we're going to put the two halves of the um, main body of the unit together. Make sure the wires are out of the way and run so that they don't interfere with the gears of the internal unit. And then slide the two pieces together as you see here in the video. And the clips will hold them together. Next, we're going to install the touch sensor. Place the touch sensor with the wires already soldered in place into the button of the top of the air freshener, and then use your glue gun to glue it in place. Make sure you place the end that has the wires attached to it out to the back side of the air freshener so that they do not get in the way when you install the main unit. Now we're going to talk about how to install the reed switch. The reed switch is installed in one of the battery compartments up against the wall of the switch. Let's take a closer look to see exactly where it's installed at. Let's zoom in so we can see it even better. And as you can see, the reed switch is installed away from the hose so you can reinstall the screws when you get ready to reassemble the unit. Now let's take a look at where we place the magnet for the re-switch. The magnet for the re-switch is where you see it in the video here. Let's zoom in closer because it has to be in the exact right location. It's exactly 28.7 millimeters from the top of the air freshener here to the middle of the magnet there. And it's approximately 17.0 millimeters from the edge of the air freshener 
to the middle of the magnet. It's very important that you get that placement exactly correct. To do that, I used a pair of calipers, as you see here in the video. Mine has a scratch on the display because it's been used a lot, but these are really good to use to get that placement exactly right. I'll link a link in the video description so you can get these if you need them. Here we're going to test the unit to see if it works. Here I'm testing the touch sensor, which I've named spray trigger. And you can see every time I touch it, the spray trigger goes from open to closed for a brief second. So it is working there. I have set a delay of two seconds so that when you press the button, you will have a time to get away from the air freshener before it sprays. That way you don't get sprayed either on your hand or in your face or body. You can also see that the millimeter wave sensor is working as well. You can see that zone one is currently being detected. I will put a link in the upper right corner of your screen so that you can go to a GitHub page that explains how to set up your zones so that you can trigger the air freshener or you can also trigger a light, for example, when you step into a particular zone. Here we're going to reassemble the unit by reinserting all of the screws in the air freshener. Once we've reinserted all the screws, we will put the cover back on so that everything will be finished. You can see me putting the cover on here. You can also see when I close the cover that the reset counter goes from open to closed. Closing the cover when the counter is below 50 will automatically make the counter reset to 2400, which is the maximum amount of sprays. Thus, you have an automatic reset of the counter when you replace the blade air freshener with a new can. The reswitch will also prevent an accidental spray when the air freshener is opened so that you don't get sprayed by accidentally put, pressing the button on the top of the air freshener. So to recap the features, when we press the button on the top, the air freshener will wait two seconds for you to get out of the way and then spray. If the counter is below 50 and you open the air freshener and then you take out the can and replace it again, and then you close the air freshener, the read switch, which we installed, will automatically go to the closed position, as you see in the video here, and it will automatically reset the counter to 2400. And finally, it does have a motion detection so that you can set it to automatically spray when it detects motion. You could even set up an automation so that if it detects motion in zone one, it won't spray, that way preventing you from getting sprayed when you're close to the air freshener. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And as always, I hope you. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. The code to get the sensors working in ESP Home will be linked in the video description. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to make these videos. And as always, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments section. See you next time.